Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our slash entitled parents. In today's episode, father kicked me out. Kid tripped me and the mom didn't care. ER visits and Disney trips don't grow on trees. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Father kicked me out. I'll try to give a summary because the history is really long, so keep in mind that I will not expose every event in details. Back to 2021, my parents got divorced, and most of the household goods, like towels, dishes, cutlery, etc., were bought by my mother and she was the one leaving the house, and left those goods too because I stayed in the house with my father. Two months after, my father started dating my mother's friend, who I never got along with because she is a problematic person, and has a really bad reputation among our community. I had a fight with them because she was not only staying in the house after I asked to not bring her over, especially when my father was traveling for work, but also entering my room and touching my stuff. They are both compulsive liars and I found her stealing my clothes, some of them brand new, and then calling me fat by saying, does it look like we wear the same size? And my father humiliated me so much and stood by her side so I decided to leave because I pretty much didn't have any other option. He did a lot more weird stuff like cancelling my SIM card without telling me knowing that I was living abroad and couldn't buy a card from our country and constantly lying, including about his debts, which put me and my mother in trouble. Now they apparently have a kid together, look like zombies, he lost everything, the cars, our apartment and me. Constantly drunk and the social workers were going to their new house because someone reported that the baby was living under terrible conditions. Now he blames me and my mother for his situation and is obsessed with us, claiming that I'm evil because I don't want to have any contact with him after all his lies and feels entitled to respect and some kind of relationship, even though he was the one ruining everything. So change your number. Don't talk to him. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I have no contact with him anymore. He's not an entitled parent though. He's a bad parent, sure, but I didn't see any evidence of entitlement in your post. You seemed more entitled when you tried to tell him he couldn't have his girlfriend over to his own house after the divorce. Kid tripped me and the mom didn't care. It is a bit serendipitous that just yesterday I heard about this sub from a YouTube video and the very next day experienced something worth mentioning here. Be me. In the elevator for the building I live at taking it from third floor to lobby. When the doors opened, before I could complete a whole step into the lobby, this little EK with a 90s bull blitzed at me and deliberately was trying to trip me. His head was the same level as my crotch and the last thing I wanted was a child anywhere near that area. I recoiled and tried to move in a manner where I don't risk making contact with the kid and I trip forward and am saved by the trash bin in the lobby. The way the kid assaulted me the moment the doors of the elevator opened, but not before they fully retracted, says to me that this kid does this a lot. The EM and some lady who looked like her sister were struggling with getting their two massive, double baby strollers into the lobby and there were two or three more children orbiting the parade that were old enough to walk that further congested the small hallway. EM scolds EK in a nonplussed and apathetic manner in their language. When you are sorry and feel bad for hurting or offending another human, you say sorry as a reflex immediately. Her sorry had a beat between the tripping and the apology that made it feel like she felt obligated to say it. There was even this air about the mom that said silently look at all these burdens I have to deal with. You're lucky that you get off easy with being tripped by one of the burdens. I have to deal with them all the time and I'm an unsung heroine. I swear that EM and her sister were half expecting me to come hold the door for them to get the four to six babies into the lobby. When I didn't, EM was annoyed. I have three herniated discs in my lower spine and my back is now thrown out again. This is what I text my landlord just now. Hey man. About two hours ago, I used the elevator to go to the lobby. This Asian family, I'm assuming was in the lobby when the doors opened. The lady's kid straight rushed me and tried to make me trip. 
I did trip into the trash can and threw my back out again. The lady sort of apologized but I can't tell that this kid does this with elevators often. If you could. I just need you to archive the clip of this happening so that I don't get stuck with more medical bills. I also think this lady needs to be told that even though she has a dozen kids, that she is still responsible for their behavior. You shouldn't have mentioned throwing out you back again, but good otherwise. Elevators have cameras. Next time turn sideways at the last minute and let him bounce. Message to EM, your kids are not my problem. I didn't knock you up and I'm sorry if whoever did knock you up isn't around. Message to EMs in the world, even after discovering that you are pregnant, if you really don't want the responsibility of having kids, there are responsible ways of not having them. If you do decide to have them. It's your body and your choice but remember. The rest of us didn't choose for your kids to enter our lives. Take responsibility. Get over your martyrdom and stop begging for sympathy. I'm very sympathetic towards women and mothers but EM, you're just trash. ER visits and Disney trips don't grow on trees. Let's travel back to the year 1995. The glove didn't fit so the jury acquitted the most obvious murderer in the history of murder, the 49ers took the Chargers down in the Super Bowl, 49-26, TLC was dominating the top 40, and America tried to pick up the pieces after suffering a horrific tragedy in the Oklahoma City bombing. In the summer of 95 I was 4 years old, and I was visiting Disney World with my family. It was here, in Orlando, Florida, that another, less significant, sad story took place, and a young Opie saw her first glimpse of the truth about her egg and sperm donors. There, a bit messed up. And believe me, this story is only child's play compared to what they're capable of. Inside the Tiny Toons Market, on Main Street, USA, we got two coffees, for them, and a milk, for me, and we were standing in line for the checkout when suddenly I changed my mind. My dad told me to go exchange the milk for what I wanted, so I made my way back to the beverage fridges. I had just about made it when I heard my mom screch my name and scream at me to hurry up because it was almost our turn at the queue. Being four, I took the advice to heart and started running back up the snack aisle toward my destination. Smack! I fell on the slippery floor face first. I pushed myself up and felt a slight pain in my hand. Fun fact about the 90s, most juices, OJ especially, used to come in glass bottles, instead of the safe, less shiny ones seen today. When I stood up, there was blood, like a lot, oh, and a nifty big shard of glass stuck right through my left hand. And I mean big, like it extended at least 2 to 3 inches on either side. What did my dad say when he came to my aid? Something along the lines of shit, OP, look what a mess you've made. And now we have to buy the wasted OJ, too. Hmm, not great. But it could be worse. He really fought the clerk about paying for the OJ. What did my mom say when she ran to my aid? Well, first of all, she never ran anywhere. She stayed in line. Demanding that the people behind her keep waiting for her to make a breakfast sandwich selection. Second, after buying her coffee and making her way over to me, she said, Damn it, Opie. Do you have any idea how much money I spent on these tickets? I might as well flush them down the drain, cause thanks to you, we all get to spend the day at the ER instead. Yeah, that's worse. What's even worse still? My dad and grandfather ended up taking me to, and waiting with me at, the ER all day, while my mom opted to generously stay at the park and take my cousins on the rides. She's super thoughtful like that. Again, I was only four when all this went down, and even though I actually do remember a lot of it, I can't be expected to remember the fine details. Thankfully I have my awesome, hilarious older cousin C, an eyewitness, to help fill in the gaps of this story. We hope you enjoyed. You got to go to Disney when you were four? My parents refused until I was ten and would remember it. It very obviously wasn't for the kid. And that's your main takeaway from the story? If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.